right, Jake and I are doing like a 1870s-ish homestead. It's gonna be real junky, a lot of trash here. Here's my first decent thing, got a suspender button. Well, it's been hard digging, but uh, a lot of modern. There's a harmonica reed though. I think I got a sweet sterling ring here. Oh, this is gonna be a cool one, I can tell. Yeah, look at that. That is awesome. It's got like little lizards. I think I see a mark. Yeah, and the mark says sterling, so this is gonna be older than the 70s anyways. Oh cool. Well that's a pretty cool license plate. I don't know if the 49 means 1949 or not. Nice. Oh I think I got something good here. Look at that. Standing Liberty Quarter. Unfortunately, like most of them, it is war thin. No date, but ah, that's so cool. And that was right under a great big aluminum cap. Glad I dug that cap out of there and then heard the quarter. All right, Dinwiddie and I were back in, well, I'm back in Montana. <laughs> Digging with Dinwiddie. There he is over there. Anyways, we're in the snow, and look at that, general service button, first good dig, back in Montana, it's got a lot of gold gild on it too, it's beautiful, I might have my brush with me, let me see if I can clean this sucker up, yeah, I think I left my brush at home, <laughs> it's hard switching over from beach to everything, switch all my gear up, so, I'll get you a pick of it when I get it cleaned up. You know, for me, a 14 is almost never something good. Look at that though. I got a suspender. I think that's probably going to be like a Shirley President or something. But, eh, it's going to be hard to clean it up right now. But it's got some chrome left on it. That's cool. Awesome. I can't tell if I got water on my lens. It's raining pretty good. But look at that, a little more hardware. Not far from the last one. You know, I'm not doing too bad on the relics. There's a little button. So, kind of the history of this place is there is a foundation kind of up here next to me up on top of the hill, but I've never dug it because everybody else has dug it. And today we're just desperate. <clears throat> And I haven't been to the foundation. Maybe I should just go over there. But uh, I've just been kind of digging on the edge. You know, where a lot of people miss. And sure enough, they have missed a bunch of stuff. Well, here's the foundation. Dinwiddie's over there trying to get something good. Guess he got a harmonica read earlier. Look at that. It says one cent only. Canadian 1935 <laughs> that's cool now that is the fanciest lipstick or whatever it is that I've ever found how cool is that it's all kinds of funky I just got like a little makeup case or something it's real fancy but the crazy thing is, I think this might be a, I think this is silver. Well, it's just got that look, that patina to it, and it rang up like it was silver. Dang. Let me wash that up. Well, one thing's for sure, it's beautiful. I'll have to uh, test it when I get home and see if it's silver or not. All right, I got a nice old, uh, I think it's a pendant. 
says Butte, July 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th. There's a bunch of stuff on the back. I'm going to have to hit that with a loop when I get home and let you know what it said on there. But hey, that's neat. That's really cool. Geez, same area where I got that pendant. I got this thing. I have no clue what that is. It's kind of... Oh, it looks like glass or something. Like, what would have a glass lid? Or, I don't know. I guess it could be some sort of gemstone, but... It's got some sort of little attachment thing there. That's weird. What do you guys think that is? Well, I just snagged a weedy. Not quite as old as we'd hoped to get. Let me see if we can find a date. I think it says 1930. And the other coin was a 1935. So, yeah, maybe we're starting to kind of hone in on a date here. It'll be interesting to see if... Uh, there's a date on the back of that Butte pendant, though. Because that one's for sure would be time period. Because they would have had to gone to the event and picked it up. So we're we probably played it. Yeah, nice little pocket watch, though. Yeah, and, I got the, and I got the hook. It's in my pocket. It's more complete than you find most of them. Yeah, I think this is my most complete one. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Pocket watch. Boom. Well, that's your ring of nice brass buckle. That's kind of cool. Really old pen. So I had some markings on it. I don't see any though. All right. Anyway, he's got a little general service button. Wait. Oh, it's got one of those loops on it. <laughs> like that one you found over there. That other place. Yeah, isn't that weird? <laughs> that is weird. Actually, I got two like that over there, remember? So that's yeah. three like that now. Yeah. Must have been something for their sweethearts or something. I don't know. It's cool, though. Five dig? <sighs> Sounds like a coin, but I guess it could be like a brass buckle or something. I guess it's brass buckle is probably more likely. Something around. Where is it? <laughs> Look at that. It's a ring. It's just not the kind we want. Oh, you sounded so beautiful. Well, that's kind of a cool little relic. I'm not really sure what it is. It says Tough Boy. Awesome. Well, I guess that wraps that up for the night. We're going to head out, but man, what a fun little hunt. Got a bunch of cool stuff. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one.